Alright guys, I wanted to show y'all what a DigiSigner was like, um, so I'm just going to go to digisigner.com, sign in to my uh, account. Um, I upgraded my account already, but um, you should have this functional all this functionality um, right from the get-go. So, these uh, all these are my agreements. I've already signed through them, had, had signed through them. I'm going to go ahead and upload a blank one and show you from the uh, beginning what it's like. Um, so, here we go. Gonna upload it, just a blank agreement. Cool, and then uh, there it is. If you go ahead and click on it, it'll open the um, tab to be able to edit it. Um, ordinarily, whenever I send this to a client, most of these blank spots will be filled out with information that's pertinent to their specific wedding. Um, but this one I wanted blank so that I'm not sharing any client information. Um, so for instance like in this down here I'll put a I'll fill in the name, address, um, phone and email already if I have it. If I don't have it I'll put fields in um, like this. Okay sorry. Click down here for fields. Um, yeah you want you want to add fields like this. Uh, signature field right there. Um, so this is where you would, uh, you would designate, I designate groom and bride, um, is the way I do it. So this is the groom's signature area right here. Um, you can add as many people as you want. I just happen to only need two. Uh, add another signature field here for add new signer, bride. Right there, move it to where you want her to sign. Um, if you want a date field, initials. I have initials on every single page of my uh, uh, um, contract, so this uh, so they have to initial every single page, um, signifying that they took the time to read it. Uh, it, it's, it, it saves who you added for um, signing, so I can just click over the groom have the groom's initials right here, um, resize the box to what I want it to be, um, insert another, switch it to the bride over here, bride's initials, um, can add a checkbox field, I, I don't have anything that I use that for but it's an option, text, so for like um, if you needed the, if you had the, the bride's phone number already um, but you needed the groom's you would just add a text field here signifying that he needed to fill in his uh, cell phone number or phone number, whatever it may be. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. So after you've added all the fields that you want, want the, your couple um, or your clients to fill out and sign an initial and all that, you just click done up here. Um, then you invite signers. So it already knows that um, I need to put in the email for the groom and put in the email for the bride. Um, so I'm going to put in my email um, and get it sent to me. Um, right here you can customize your message uh, as far as like what you want it to say to them, what you want the subject to say, and that kind of thing. Um, you can preview it here if you want. Uh, save your email as a template, um, that kind of thing. Uh, then whenever you're ready for them to sign it and the document's ready and everything, you just click there, um, send it. Invitation has been sent. Um, so then if I go to my email, I'll show you what the client side looks like now. So here's the email it sent me. Um, and there's all the verbiage that, you know, uh, all the verbiage that we could have customized if we wanted to. Simple open document. Um, please fill out the document. Please fill out the document by checking out, clicking on the fields, um, it says. So it's pretty intuitive uh, as far as the client side goes. Um, so it knows that I am, uh, I don't remember what email this is. Okay, so it knows that this is the email I designated as the groom. So he's only able to fill out his portions. He can't click on um, to fill out any of the bride's portions. As a matter of fact, they just look like blank spots to him um, as far as his end goes because it knows 
what email uh, brought him to this page. Um, so then we can just simply fill in, you know, what, however we want our signature to look. Um, you can hand draw it up here if you want to or upload one, uh, but, you know, just a simple thing. Fill in the text right here. Um, And the initials right here, well, I'm not going to do the initials just yet because these three fields are the ones I, I designated for the groom to fill out. I'm going to click right here. Oh, no, you can't leave yet. You're not done. There's still a field you haven't filled out. So you have to find that field. Okay, yeah. So find that field and add it. And now he can click done. And it's saving. Boom. There we go. Signing successful. That's all he has to do. Um... So the bride will have a, uh, the same thing on her end um, as far as whatever you designated her to have or, you know, clients, whatever kind of clients you have. Um, and then, so, I'm not going to go through this, but basically once the other person signs it, um, it'll show update right here that, okay, see the groom's email, the one I designated as the groom, has a check mark that he has signed it but we're still waiting on the uh, bride to sign it, basically. Um, as you can see right here, once both parties sign it, uh, both emails are check marks. It emails you um, a copy, a PDF copy of the, of the uh, contract that's been signed. Um, you can go in here and download it if you want. Um, you can send a copy. You can, uh, you know, go um, invite more signers later if you wanted to or whatever. Um, so that's it. That's, you know, super simple. And uh, so I just wanted to show you how simple it was.